and ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank my peers for electing me to speak today. I would like to start off by reading a poem from my favorite writer, Robert Frost. The poem is called The Road Not Taken. Two roads diverge in a yellow wood. In sorrow, I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent under the underwood. Then I took the other just as far. And having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanton wear, though as for all of the passing there, have worn them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay, and leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I marked the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverge in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that had made all the difference. What the poem says to me is that don't always follow the path. I feel that's how, that's how I spent most of my high school career. I wasn't afraid to do things or meet different people. And if I could give you any advice, that is what I would want it to be. To be your own person, to do something different, to go against the norm something that you think is cooler for you. Most of you know I play football and I wrestle. If I could, I would play sports the rest of my life and I would be happy. But something else I've done in high school that I wouldn't trade in the world is my four years of choir and the stage called doing the musical. From the time I was little to my high school years, my friends have messed with me because I was in them. But I'm glad I stayed there. I've made great friends and memories from doing things. Things I will remember the rest of my life. I never would have had them if I just followed what everyone else did. Everyone who knows me knows I love high school. I had the time of my life. It was more of a social time than a work time for me. And I bet if you ask my teachers, they would agree. <laughs> I've made long life friends, and I've made memories that will last forever. Such as being with some of my family through these four years. I have a lot. I mean a lot of cousins that have come through here. To all the great times of football where we just joked around to get through practice, wrestling, where it got so intense you wanted to fight the coach and your teammates, being crowned homecoming king, to just running in the halls and yelling just for the fun of it, like I did every day, <laughs> to making fun of a good friend of mine for always crying, but I want to cry up here in front of all of you right now. I just want to say the last four years have been, a great, have been great to me, and I hope they've been great for you. I'm going to miss every one of you. I just hope that you'll remember me like I'll remember you. And to remember, it's okay to be a little different or to be a little weird. Because at the end of the day, all that matters is that you're happy with who you are, not with what other people think of you. So try something new, try something different. Don't always follow what other people are doing. I would also like to thank my late father, my mom, my sisters, and the rest of my family for always being there for me. Without them, I have no idea where I'd be right The last thing I have to say is to my peers, be happy. Class of 2011, we did it. And no one can ever take this away from us. Thank you, everyone.